hi guys. <laughs> Video number three of three. Yes, uh, you know me, gotta, gotta get them out when I have a chance. So welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Dee. I'm an avid thrifter and reseller. I sell on YouTube every Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. And I sell on eBay and Mercari. And I do have to get some more items listed because it's slim pickings right about now. But anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome to any new subscribers and welcome back to all of my current friends. Today's video is an estate sale thrift haul. I spent a total of $148.20. And I got some really great stuff. So I look forward to sharing it with all of you. All right, let me just move some stuff out of my way here and we shall get started. My wipes, I've been wiping stuff off because believe it or not, some of the most beautiful items were out in the backyard in a shed, filthy, dirty shed. So I was able to you know, wipe off most of the items that were out there. Okay. 148.20. I'm going to start with this, these couple of things right here. So I bought this picture uh, because I wanted the frame. Um, I don't know who this lovely lady is that's in the picture, but it was Olin Mills. Uh, that's who did our photos way back in the day was Olin Mills. And uh, they took this lovely lady's picture. So, but I'm, like I said, I basically wanted it for the, um, the frame. And I didn't wipe that off. I should have. Hold on. Let me, let me wipe that off so you can see how pretty it is. Now, it's got a little bit of damage right at the top. But. So, and it's got the easel thing on the back. So we got that lovely little lady. And then they had they had a box in the basement with picture frames and all kinds of old photos. Y'all, when I saw this little picture, I absolutely fell in love with it. And I think I'm going to keep it. Look at this little picture. <laughs> How cute is this? Oh my gosh. I love this picture. I absolutely am in love with it. I am framing that and I am hanging that up in my office. I don't know who these two cute little girls are, but they're going in my office. I also bought this primitive uh, Lucy Ogletree is the artist. This uh, primitive or slash rustic cat picture. Now, I, um, I haven't looked her up yet, so I don't know, you know, if, you know, if it's worth anything, but I will look her up and I will leave it here if it's anything, you know, worth bothering with. Now, there is a broken piece on the glass down here, but I do have rep replacement glass that I can put in here, so no worries about that. Um, let me see. 
Okay, these were out in the shed. I got, there were four, but one that um, had a chip um, on the rim and another chip on the, the base, so I left it behind. But I got three of these beautiful pink depression glass, elegant depression glass. Um, I'm gonna call them water goblets. I believe that's what they are. So as I said, I did get three of those. Very pretty. I didn't look up the pattern. I got this. Now this I this was out in the shed as well. I got this beautiful little forget me not um, toothpick holder. I'm looking to see if there's a signature on here, but I do not see a signature. But that's the back stamp. But look how pretty that is, and it's got three little handles. So I picked that up. Guys, I found a lot of beautiful hand-painted plates. Yes. Here's another little toothpick holder. Isn't that gorgeous? This is uh, Versailles Bavaria. That is gorgeous. I don't know where I want to go next. We'll go to my Diet Pepsi. <laughs> okay. These were in the basement. Um, I bought these. They have their locks, too. These two um, little cedar chests. Um, this one has its lock. And so does this one. So I picked those up. I was going to upcycle them, but if anyone is interested in them the way they are, let me know. This one does have some scratches on the top. And there's a piece of duct tape on the bottom that says taffy. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass to get off. Duct tape residue. All right. Um, there are three items that were hanging in the basement for God knows how long, probably 40 years. Um, I got three macrame plant hangers. One is blue and white, and the other two are, one's yellow, like a goldish yellow. The other one is like a yellow and a white. They are so filthy, I, they're outside. I hosed them down and hung them to dry and then I'm gonna throw them in the washing machine. That's how grody they were. Didn't even wanna bring them in here. So I got those as well. Um, then I got this beautiful pair. Look at these salt and pepper shakers. Aren't those gorgeous? They are missing their stoppers, and I have to find out what the size stopper is for salt and pepper shakers, like the normal, like this size. I'm going to have to try to measure that hole so I can order more because I am out of that size, but these are stunning. Um, I found this. Um, I don't know if uh, this is Fenton. Or Anchor Hocking, I think it might be Fenton, like the Moonstone. And you can definitely see that, um, the fire, the Ring of Fire. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. You can see it. It is absolutely filthy inside. This was out in the shed, too. Y'all. Let me show you these plates first so I can get them out from in front of me because I'm afraid I'm going to knock them over. <sighs> There's plate number one. This one is uh, Germany. It is um, Hoochenruther. Hoochenruther. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous?
I got some daisies. This one is Bavaria. Then I got this one. This is Versailles Bavaria. Now, the, all these that have the, the pretty gold, uh, I'm going to sell them as a set, like all three plates. So it would be this one, this one, and this one. They're all Versailles Bavaria. So those will be a set. And then I think I will sell, um, I may sell, I don't know. I have three daisy plates. I have this one. This one is Bavaria as well. This one is Bavaria. And then I had this one that I showed you first. This one's Bavaria as well. So I was thinking I might sell the three daisy plates um, as a set. I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. Then I got this gorgeous set. Um, these are RS Prussia. Oh my gosh, and I love RS Prussia. So it is four luncheon plates. And, and then there's like five um, like bread plates, I'm going to call them. Now, these don't go with this, but they sold them all together for one money. Um, these are Haviland France. I know my lighting in here is terrible. I need to turn on my other light so you can see. So I have three of these. And then I have one, two, three, four, five of these RS Prussia. Look at these. Aren't those absolutely gorgeous? And I have five of those. They're all the same. They're just beautiful. Let me show you. There's your back stamp. That one's kind of smudged. Let me show you this one. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love me some RS Prussia. All right, then I got this. This is gorgeous, you guys. Look at this one. Now, this one is not marked. And it is just stunning. Lavender, yellow, white, green, gold. Oh, oh my goodness. Royal Austria. Versailles, Bavaria. There's the back stamp. This one is Nippon, Noritake Nippon. Look at that. My word. This one is another stunner, and I may keep this. I'm not positive, but I, I may keep this one. Look at this, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm going to keep it. Oh, this is Haviland, France. Oh, my God. That is just spectacular. Okay. Okay. 
Then I got this gorgeous lemon server. This is RS Germany. This almost looks like it matches that plate. Does it match that plate? No, different flowers. This is gorgeous too. This is Austria. Oh, I should have put my other light on. Sorry, guys. Look at how beautiful the colors are on that. Oh, my word. I didn't clean this one out. This is Prussia as well. It's not RS Prussia, though. It looks like SE Prussia. I don't know. Look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Let me wipe this out real quick, guys, before I show it to you. Oh, it's really dirty. I knew I forgot. Hold on, guys. Pause. This was out in the shed as well. And it does have a hairline. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't go through to the other side. Oh, yes, it does. It does. Oh, yeah, this is damaged. But it is what it is. This is a hand-painted Nippon as well. But as you could see, there is the crack and the chip on the other side. Unfortunately, that's what it looks like from the front. Oh, well. Still pretty. <laughs> okay, then I got this piece. This is um, Germany. Now, this has been repaired. And I will show you where, but look at this beautiful footed bowl with the iridescent um, paint. So one of the feet were repaired. But you know what? Who in the heck is going to notice that if this is sitting? Like, nobody's going to notice that. And if they do, they have far too much time on their hands. <laughs> Just saying. Whew, having a hot flash. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Okay, for my cat lovers out there, Arlene. <laughs> looky, looky. Looky, looky. How cute is that? No mark on the bottom, but uh, some numbers. Yeah. So I got that. I got this Napco Wear Planter. Look at those eyes. Dirty, but in perfect condition. No chips or cracks or anything. Uh, fabulous condition. There is your Napco Wear sticker. I'm going to wash that. Then I got 
Then I got this guy. He's like uh, some kind of resin or I don't know. It's a bank. <laughs> he's one of those rustic, primitive cats. And he's got his little stopper on the bottom. He's cute. Then I got this guy. This is uh, Cats by Nina. He's adorable. He's like a planter or something. I don't know. I think he's a planter. Look how stinking cute he is. She, he looks, or she, whatever, kind of reminds me of my little Sophie. Um, 2001, Nina Lyman is her name. Nina Lyman. And, yeah, so that's who that is. So I got that. And the last cat I got is this Tonala cat planter this is very cool uh here is the signature in mexico they had a candle in here uh, so i'm gonna have to get the candle out i mean you know if you want to use it as a candle you can but that candle's gross it's got to come out of there this is a stunning set, you guys. Oh, my word. This is Czechoslovakia, and it looks like it says P-U-L-G. Let me show you that. Look at this cream, cream and sugar set. Here's your creamer, and here is the sugar. Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. This one's even marked inside the lid of the sugar bowl. What a gorgeous set this is. Wow. Stunning. No chips or cracks or anything. Uh, then I got this. This is a piece of black glass. It's got this pretty floral design and silver. It looks like little daisies. Very, very pretty. Yeah, it's definitely black glass as far as I can tell. So I got that. Uh, I got this uh, very old baby shoe. Look at this shoe, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. It's stuffed with uh, Kleenex. Oh my word, love it. There was only one. Um, then I got this, this is gorgeous. Now I am gonna glue this to the stand because I don't want it to fall off and break. The, look at this, you guys. Oh my word. And this is the stand. Absolutely gorgeous. But I'm definitely going to glue the egg to the stand cuz I can see I can see it falling off and smashing. So, I am definitely going to um do that absolutely beautiful piece that is 
I'll use like some uh, E6000 or something like that. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. I got, you guys look at this. Apparently this is sterling silver. And because I looked it up and they all are exactly like this and they all say sterling silver 925. I don't see it on here anywhere. Look at this coin purse. You take the lid opens up like that and then this opens. Oh my goodness. When I saw that on the table, I about had a conniption fit. Mm -hmm. And then I got this. Look at this beautiful purse. Got a, a little handle. It has its original little mirror in there. Gorgeous. I got some picture frames. Now, when I looked at this, I saw this woman and I said, I know her. At some point, it's going to come to me, but I know this woman and I just can't remember her name. But I got it for the frame. I got that one. Someone put kitty cat pictures in here. Now, this one doesn't have the glass, unfortunately. I got this one. <laughs> I want I want the frames and then I got this one. So those I got. All right, we're coming down to the last few things, my friends. I got some jewelry. I got a few pieces of jewelry. So I just thought this is a really pretty uh, piece of costume jewelry. They look like sapphires. Very pretty bracelet though. Very pretty. Um, it is marked, but I can't read it. I think it could be Avon. Um, then I got this beautiful butterfly pin. Um... This one says check, checko, I think. It is missing a stone. Look at this. See, it's missing a stone right there. Unfortunately, I do not have a stone that will match, I don't think. But this is old and it is gorgeous. Then I got these cool earrings. Look at these, you guys. Sit still. <laughs> so I got those. They are gorgeous. And I got this three-piece set. So you get the earrings, and then this is a pendant. Come on. How pretty is that set? Gorgeous. Now, I don't see any marks on these. It's focusing on the lines on my hand instead of on the dang pendant. There we go. <laughs> so I got those. All right. 
And then I bought these three. They have die cast figures. I have to look these up. Not die cast, cast metal, I guess, or I think they're all train related. These look like, he, like he's got on a conductor hat. So those were all the ones in this little box. Then I got this one. supposed to sit. I can't believe I'm not dropping any of these. I'm in shock. So that's what was in that one. And then the last one has these two guys. So there's this guy. And then there is, these are like, are these like barbells or something? I think it fits in this guy's hand. I'm not sure. But there's this guy. And then there is this thing. So those are all the little cast metal pieces that I got. And that is the end of the thrift haul, guys. You know, 148.20. Heck yeah, heck yeah. I hope you guys liked this thrift haul. I certainly enjoyed shopping. <laughs> I wish I would have had more money because I would have bought a lot more, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, don't forget, guys, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me some comments. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't think so. Just, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care.